Hey there, how's it going? Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is Ash from Fetch Profits. If you've been using ConvertKit for a while now, if you haven't used it before and if you'd like to use it, then ConvertKit has just come up with a new feature called Create a Profile, which works in multiple ways depending on how you want to use it. It could work as a home for people to go there and take a look at what your brand is all about. You could be a content creator, a blogger, or a small business, or a medium-sized business, or even a large business. And the way it works is that you can make this profile look like the way you want it to look like. If you're a blogger or a content creator, you could actually showcase your individual profile here. Think of it as a simple landing page. If you were a small business, you could add your logo there and talk about what it is that you do or why people should sign up. So if you haven't used ConvertKit before, I highly recommend you use the link below, fetchprofits.com forward slash ConvertKit. This link is also in the description. Please do take a look at that description and take a look at the link and click on it. You also have access to several other links there that lead you to several freebies that I have on offer. Having said that, to create this particular creator profile, file get into convert kit so let me take you into the video and show you quickly how it's done you also have several features here that you would like to know about inside your convert kit account on the grow tab if you click on it there's a drop down and you will see create a profile if you click on create a profile this is the page you will come to so you have an image on the top left corner you have a heading you have a subheading and you have an opt-in box that allows people to sign up or subscribe you also have two tabs here if i enable posts on the right side panel you will see tabs and you will see links. Now these are optional. You can enable links or not enable links and only enable posts or you can enable links and disable posts by just toggling the button here on the, on the right side panel. So if you click on enable posts, your posts will show up. If you toggle on your enable links, your links will show up. So that's how it works. So you have both posts and link tabs showing up. If you actually send out newsletters using ConvertKit's broadcast option, then all of those newsletters that you sent out will be here on display for people to read. In the beginning, when you're just getting started with your newsletters or you want some traction going or you want people to sign up for your newsletter, maybe it makes sense to actually add this post tab and keep it on for a while. But as you grow bigger and if you become more exclusive and you would like your post to be accessible only to your subscribers and not to the general public, then you can actually disable post here. If you do, then what you're going to get here is just the links tab. This links tab will remind you of something like Linktree or Shopify's link pop, something like a link in bio that people can get access to. And once they click on this particular link that can be available on your social media profiles, let's say your Twitter profile or your LinkedIn personal profile or your LinkedIn brand page, depending on what you're doing with this page, if you have those links there and people click on it and all that landing page does is either have people subscribe to you or have them click on any of these links which is of some sort of a benefit for you. In my case, for example, they'll click on this link and go straight to my blog and read it, or they can subscribe to YouTube by clicking on the next link, or maybe they can come over to my brand page on LinkedIn and check me out there, or maybe check me out on my personal profile on LinkedIn, or follow me on Twitter, or actually go ahead and buy my blogging services along with other services that I have on my store. So you could have people take action. This is very much like a LinkedIn bio feature if you make it that way, or if you actually enable posts, then you also have have your posts categorically listed one below the other and people can get access to how your newsletters look like as well. Once you get here, the post is automatically populated if you sent out newsletters in the past. On the link side, this is where you just add links and manage links. To add a link, all you need to do is just click on this link and add a link here. For example, I'm going to add my Instagram account. So I've added my Instagram account here as a link and click on add link and it just says follow me on Instagram. You have the ability to change that text that displays here. Just click on this particular link and you get all the styling and other options that you have available for each link. Click on it again. You have the option of changing the text here as well. So for example, I could say something like, could change it to anything I want absolutely there's no right or wrong way about doing this and then click on save and you are done if you would like to remove this you can remove that as well just click on this link again click on it again you'll get to this part where, where it will give you the option to remove link and you can remove link as well if you enable just the links this is how the actual page shows up if you actually enable your post tab then this is how it's create a creator profile looks like if you've used it before please do feel free to share your creator profile with me i would love to see what you're up to if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me this is ash from fetch profits signing out